Hey guys, Frank from PBH. In this video, we're gonna be talking about our customizable Coyote coal cover plates. So here we're gonna talk about engine dress up. And when it comes to engine dress up, there are a lot of options out there. The, the customization that you can do these days is pretty impressive. And we find ourselves wanting to dress up the engine and customize it just as much as we wanna do the outside of the vehicle and even the interior. So back in 2012, we were thinking about ways that we can dress up that Coyote engine because we knew they're gonna end up in quite a few cars once we realize the potential of it. And one of the things we looked at right away is that the coil covers and the valve covers, really at the time, there was no options to customize them. So the best thing that you could do was to hydro dip them or paint them and really add some color to them, but you couldn't get away from that powered by Ford moniker that was embossed into each coil cover. And we were working on our accessory drive bracket kits at the time, and we came up with the idea of a customizable, personalized, coil cover plate program that you can bolt onto your existing plastic coil covers. The PBH Coyote coil cover plates are gonna be $129.99 to start. They are part number PBH 633 in our catalog. They're available to be used on generation one and two engines, so that's gonna cover your 2011 to 17 engines from the Mustangs and the F-150s. Now keep this in mind, F-150s do not have factory coil covers. So you're gonna need to pick up a set of those along with the ball studs to go ahead and insert into the valve cover so you can go ahead and put them on. Generation three Coyote starting in 2018 to current production, well, you're gonna be out of luck. Unfortunately, Ford put a high pressure fuel pump in the middle of the passenger side valve cover so you don't have any coil covers to play with. When you're ordering the set, you do have the option to get custom engraving. And what this means is with one of the approved fonts that we have listed there, you can choose to have a name or a hashtag put onto the coil cover at your discretion. Now, if you have a custom logo that you wanna get engraved onto the coil cover, it is a possibility, but you're gonna to wanna to send us that artwork ahead of time so we can take a look at it and make sure that engraving it onto the coil cover plate is gonna really come out to the results that you want. Either which way you go, you have the option to get them blank with a custom engraving script or a custom logo, we can help you out and get that sorted. So what we're gonna show you next in this video is gonna be the installation of these customized coil cover plates on a set of factory GT coil covers. So when you receive your Coyote coil cover plate kit from Power by the Hour, you're gonna get a driver's side and a passenger side plate. You're gonna get stainless steel hardware to fasten it to the plastic coil cover as well. Now to perform this installation, you're gonna need a few tools. You're gonna to wanna to get a drill with an 11 32nd drill bit. You're gonna want a seven millimeter or a 9 32nd wrench. And you're also gonna want a 2.5 millimeter Allen head tool. Once you have all that rounded up, we're gonna go ahead and walk you through the steps to go ahead and drill out the holes on the factory coil cover and fasten the customized coil cover plate to it. All right guys, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna show you the installation of the PBH coil cover plates on a standard set of coil covers. Now these in particular aren't the nicest in the world. Uh, these came off of a core engine that we had laying around here. But nonetheless, you see how uh, they are in their factory state with the Powered by Ford logo and the two trenches, one above and one below. And we're gonna go ahead and use the PBH coil cover plates to kind of dress these coil covers up and to give you an example of how to install them and how good they may look on your project in particular. All right, so the first thing that we need to do uh, to get the installation going is obviously you need to unpack the coil cover plates from the packaging. And once you do, you're gonna get the corresponding side uh, that goes to the coil cover you're gonna be working on first. In this case, this is a side that the PCV vent does not protrude into the Power by Ford area here. So that's gonna have the square plate that comes in the kit. There's also one that has a little scoop in it to accommodate that little indentation. I believe it's on the driver's side. So this will be your passenger side coil cover in particular that we're showing you the installation on. The first thing we're gonna do is if you turn the plate over, you'll see that it's got two guides, one machined on each side, top and bottom, and that's gonna match up with the two grooves on the top and the bottom of the Power by Ford logo here. And what you'll wanna do is just basically find those guides, drop it into place, 
And what you want to do is kind of line it up so to make sure that you don't have any open edges. So as you can see, it could slide enough to give you some of the detail exposed on the factory cover here. So if you don't line it up perfectly, you could end up with this exposed. So you definitely want to kind of play with it left to right to make sure it is just right for the installation because the next step is going to be to mark the holes so that we can drill them and then bolt them in. So this is pretty much the final resting place for the coil cover plate. So with the coil cover plate lined up to the coil cover, now you'll be able to go ahead and mark the holes. And what you want to do with that sharp awl or screwdriver, you can just mark the center of each hole so that it leaves a little bit of a mark. You don't need to go too crazy here as long as we're representing exactly where the drilling needs to happen, we're getting everything accomplished that we need. And what you see in a second here is once we remove the coil cover, you'll be able to see that little tiny hole that we're gonna use as a guide to drill out the coil cover. So now that we have the holes marked on the plastic coil cover, it's time to go ahead and drill them out. And we're just gonna grab a, any conventional drill that you have around the house. Don't have to have anything high powered or hammer drill or anything like that. This needs to be nice and easy. There really shouldn't be much resistance as far as drilling this out. It's just a matter of running the drill nice and slow, making a clean hole and clearing the debris out from there. That way the hardware doesn't have any problems going through it. What we like to do, but once we have that first one drilled out, we'll go ahead and grab our coil cover, put it on, and go ahead and test the fitment of one of the bolts. Now, if for some reason it doesn't want to go all the way through nice and clean, just grab your drill again and kind of work the hole around a little bit. This doesn't have to be too precise. These things are not going to go anywhere once we have them tightened down and you really don't have to worry about having super precision here. Just make sure that it goes through and allows you to go ahead and fasten the nut to the backside. So now you got all the holes drilled out on the factory coil cover. You can see all six of them there. I'm just gonna grab our coil cover plate and one of the bolts and go ahead and start poking them through the coil cover itself. Now we like to do here is go ahead and put all six of them in. That way you can te test the fitment and make sure you got all the right hardware. Let's see how this one's a little bit tight here. We have to open that one up just a bit more. Sometimes this plastic doesn't really give away and you have to uh, do some extra clearancing here. back to that. Make sure I'll just drop right in, including this guy right here. Now we got all six in place. You can kind of start seeing what the finished product is going to look like. Now we're going to go ahead and fasten the coil cover plate to the coil cover. Now to fasten the coil cover plate to the coil cover, you can use a tabletop setup like we have here. Now these bolts really shouldn't fall out. We're gonna go ahead and lay it upside down and you'll be able to see that we have six of the pieces of hardware poking through. And all you have to do is start the nut on each one, just like this guy right here. Once you get them started, you can go ahead and get your, I think it's a seven millimeter wrench to start tightening them up along with an Allen key so you can hold the bolt in place. Now in this one in particular, something interesting has happened. The hole that we drilled has ended up a little bit close to this ridge right here. It's gonna prevent us from being able to put this nut on. So you have two options. Obviously you can just run it without it, which you're gonna end up losing that bolt. But if you get a simple razor blade, you can come in here and just work this plastic down and go ahead and clearance that area from that tab. And once you have that cut on both sides, just use something to push it back. And you'll see that that piece of plastic will then just kind of break off with a little bit of work, nothing too major. We 
we can go ahead and get the nut started. With the nut started, what we like to do is just get our Allen key on the head of the bolt and grab the other side with our wrench and go ahead and tighten as needed. You don't have to get too crazy here. We're not torquing down a set of heads. It's just an aluminum plate onto a plastic cover. So you don't have to worry about over torquing it really hand tight, maybe a little bit less than that is good enough. These are all stainless hardware. They're lock nuts. Um, they're not gonna back off. We are installed onto the coil cover and you really don't have to worry about this ever coming off. It actually makes the coil cover nice and rigid. Whether that's a plus or a minus, we don't know for sure, but it doesn't hinder any type of installation. And obviously if you have a design uh, that you provide us and we etch it into there and we engrave it for you, it really dresses up the cover and we'll show you an example of that. Here's our PBH Equip moniker on the opposite side. Now you can imagine this under the hood of the car. If you want to put your project name on there or have a uh, Ford logo or some sort of vintage logo that you wanted to put onto the coil cover, it really is a nice touch. This will also work with any coil covers that have been painted or bondoed or hydro dipped, any of that stuff as well. So if you have a painted coil cover and you wanted to touch it off with a little bit of custom plate on the top with a custom moniker, uh, it's definitely an option as well. So there you have it guys, a quick easy way to personalize any Coyote engine whether it's in a Mustang, an F-150 or a Coyote swap. They're available at pbhperformance.com, they're part number PBH633 and they're made here in the USA. Alright guys, thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button. If you want to keep in touch with PBH, we got a bunch of different avenues that you can do that through. We got Facebook, we got Instagram, we have a blog on our website and you can even subscribe to our newsletter. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you tune in for more content coming from PBH Performance.